Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, I have these two division problems. This one right here, you would say 200 divided by 100. And then this one right here is 100 divided by 200. All right, you're going to get two completely different answers. Let's do this one first, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that over to the side here. I'm going to put the 100 here and then the 200 here. When we look at this problem, this is like I have 200 apples. That would be a lot of apples. And then I want to divide those into 100 groups. So how many times can I put 100 into 200? All right, so I can take 100 times two would be 200. Now I'm trying to figure out where should I put that two? Should I put it right here, right there, or right there? What do you think? I put the two right here, okay? So two times 100 would be 200. And then I subtract, and I have zero remainder. So my answer right here would be two, all right? So let's take a look at this one right here. This is completely different. <laughs> I have 100 divided by 200. So let me go ahead and rewrite that. Put that problem right over here. And then 100. How many times can I put 200 into 100? What do you think? You just can't, can you? There's just absolutely no way. So what do I do? I have to add a decimal point. All right. So I put a decimal point right here. And now anything on this side of the decimal point, I can put zeros back over here. Doesn't matter how many zeros. All right. But I got my decimal point right there and I can put a zero over here. I could even put another one too. If I put a decimal point here, I need to put it up there in the answer. So now I kind of look at this problem right here. Okay. And so it says, how many times can I put 200 into 1000? All right. So what do you think? I'm just going to take this zero out here. All right. Take that zeros. And then I'm going to take that zero. So how many times can I put 20 into 100? How many times? So 20, and if, and if you get a little confused on that one, let's move this zero over here, and let's take out these two zeros. How many times can I put two into 10? Five times, right? So I can put 20 into 100 five times, and I could put 200 into 1,000 five times. So now, where do I put that five? We're dealing with this number right here, 1,000, okay? So I'm going to put that 5 right there. So now 5 times 200 equals 1,000. And you subtract that, and I have 0 remainder. So my answer is what, so, uh, so the original problem was, what is 100 divided by 200, it would be 0.5, all right? Okay, um, so I did this problem because uh, I had a student ask, uh, what is 100, or they asked, what is 200 divided by 100? And they wrote it like this. And I said, no, it would be, this is how you would write it. So we have two different answers. 200 divided by 100 is two, and 100 divided by 200 is Point five. Hey, I think uh, I'm hoping you guys did a good job out there. Check out my other videos if you like doing math videos. Check out my uh, I have a lot of different channels now. I got um, I think four different YouTube channels. I have another one I do a lot with uh, math videos, and another one I I do some fishing and and uh, a lot of things like hunting and and just being out there in nature. And I hope you are getting outside too, because the days are beautiful. You need to get outside and exercise. And I hope you're safe out there. I'm thinking of all you guys. 
You guys mean the world to me. Thank you very much for supporting my YouTube channels. And thank you for doing math with me. Have a beautiful day. I'm going to talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.